It's time to check out another Hot Toys item, and it's another Hot Toys from The Mandalorian, but this time it's Luke Mandalorian? Skywalker. Mandalorian, yes, Emmett. This is Luke Skywalker from Season 2 of Mandalorian. Ordered this quite some time back. I really wanted to get the Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker. There was like a deluxe one from Hot Toys. And I went back and forth and then never ordered it. And then it was out of stock and I couldn't get it. So this is kind of my, my runner-up prize. But there's something cool in this that's going to really help. So let's check out. Let's open this box up and check it out. So here is the box inside. We can see Luke. There's a damaged Dark Trooper. And from what I understand, this will actually connect to the Hot Toys Dark Trooper that I already have. I guess it comes with Grogu. I've forgotten about that. Get another Hot Toys Grogu. That'll be my third one. But uh, this is my first Hot Toys Luke. So I'm really excited about this. Like I said, I wanted the Return of the Jedi one, but I was like, you know what? Th this is a good good substitute for that. So let's check them out. So much like the Hot Toys Ahsoka, we have we take out the slip cover. We have another image inside. We've got uh, silver embossed Star Wars, and it's kind of like a a book deal to where we can pull this out then, so that we have this same image that's on the uh, front. And oh, that's cool. They're doing it still old Hot Toy style. I love this. What is that? So, that's Luke. Oh. So, we have... Uh-oh. Where's Grogu? Oh, there he is. Okay, <laughs> I didn't see him to begin with. I'm like, wait a minute, I should get it. So, you see, we got the damaged Dark Trooper. We got Luke. We got Grogu here. I love how they're putting this back in the foam. They've got, like, kind of this stuff. They did this early on. Like, my Indiana Jones was like this, but a lot of the, the more recent ones haven't been like this. Ahsoka was the first one I saw that looked like this again. So, let's go ahead and take him out of the box and check him out. Mm -hmm. We have all sorts of accessories. My son is really excited about it too. We have the stand, all sorts of hands, some batteries for the lightsaber arm there. More hands. This is how we're going to manipulate his eyes. Lightsaber. Oh, that looks nice and silver. That's pretty cool. Um, stand, his cloak. And then it came with this really intricate backdrop. I forgot. They've been doing this more and more, but it's actually layered so that you can... It gives you a little more, more 3D effect on it. It's pretty cool. So let me uh, play around with this and see what we'll do with this while my two-year-old is dancing around with a Darth Vader and a Boba Fett figure right here with me. Dad. So when I first opened this, I had nice stuff of what it looked like coming out. And then I think my son deleted it when he was taking pictures of Boba Fett and Darth Vader in front of the camera, as you just saw. So there is a look at that wonderful portrait that we have in this look. It looks very good. And then, much like some of those, you can pull his hair off right there. And behind, you have little levers there to control the eyes, which we'll take a look at in just a minute. So to move the eyes, much like with Ahsoka, you have to take off the hair. And you use this little tool right here. And you just push in there, and you can push it there, and here, here it's going to have a really wonky eye now, so you can see it. You got a lazy eye going there, right? But, you know, then you just work the other one. Hopefully that'll look right. That looks like he's looking over there. You can put his hair on. It'll look a little bit more normal. So now we got him looking over the side. So that's, that's kind of what that's for and how that works. That is really good head. I love that. It looks, it looks like Mark Hamill. Looks like a digitized Mark Hamill, but it looks like Mark Hamill. So to set up the lightsaber hand, you have to, it has a cloth piece. You pull this down, put the three batteries it came with. Then I have to screw the piece back in there, and then there's a switch over here. I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. Once you have the batteries in there, turn it on. You can see we've got a green light coming out of there. Now we can add the blades to it. So you can make the swishing lightsaber and light that up. Looks pretty cool right there. Or you can just have the plain lightsaber just like that. Both look really good. They light up really well. It, it really sticks out. It's pretty good. And here's what it looks like when you get the lightsaber hand all put in there. So you have to change it out. So this is the hand that was in there. You just have to pull it out. It comes out from the elbow joint. Uh, whenever you have to change joints on these, I always suggest that be in a warm environment. If it's cold, you could break things. But um, it looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I don't think I'm going to have a lit up lightsaber with mine, uh, but it still looks cool. So you saw the fist hand earlier. This is the, the gloved hand that holds the lightsaber. And we have several more. We have... This kind of an open palm. There's a lot. There's a lot more hands here than I thought there would be. This is kind of a gripping. That's almost like a force choke looking hand. Um, 
Then we have this. This definitely looks like a force using hand right here, right? Okay. And then we have just a straight up kind of open palm like that. That's all the gloved hands there. The ungloved hands, we have the fist from earlier, and then we have kind of this open, seems like a force push type of hand. Then we have with the fingers together, palm open right there. Uh, we have, it's kind of a grippy hand, maybe for a lightsaber, two-handed grip. And then straight up lightsaber grip hand right there. So I'm starting to get him towards a pose that I want. I want to add his cloak to him. It's a very heavy weighted cloak. Um, the hood has a wire inside of it, so it's moldable. It has a little clasp on it to, to hook it. So I'm going to get this on him and see what I think. Okay. So the nice thing about the wired hood is that you can work it to make it look right. I can play with it even more. But in the end, we get a pretty nice looking Luke Skywalker. Probably should bring his cloak back so it's not on the lightsaber blade there. That probably wouldn't go too well. But that's a pretty cool looking figure. So let's look at some of the other stuff we got. So on here the now. Dark Trooper, you have to remove the back here. And then you got a battery compartment here to put some more batteries in. So let's check that out. So I left the back off because there's a little button right here. We're going to press that. And let's see what happens when we press this. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I didn't expect all the extra lights in here. There's even a little light in the arm there as well as the eyes. Uh, the original one, or the, the actual one, it just had the, the eyes light up and the little dots on the chest. Oh, whoa, look at that. It looks like there's damage. That is really cool. Oh, my gosh. This is like almost like a suppressive mission right here. This is really cool. Oh, there we got like a slow, like it's just kind of like back and forth, like it's just dying. And then off. Oh, that is so cool. I love this. I, that is so freaking cool. Ah, oh, I love it. This is a, this is an awesome piece. Okay, the, this just, this made it worthwhile. Then the instructions, it didn't show anything about attaching this to the existing Dark Trooper. And I don't see how that could work. I know the Dark Trooper, you could pull it apart, but I don't see that that's going to work at all. So I don't think I can do that. But it works really well on the stand. And it's like Luke is uh, force crunching it, I guess, with his open hand there. So finally, there's Grogu. It's probably my least uh, impressive or thought about item on this. He can manipulate his arms up a little bit. He's got, whoop, I just popped his head off. His head, his head will move around. This is pretty cool. You do have a couple of, they look like open hands that you can put in there with him. I'm not even going to worry about that. This is like my third Grogu, and I really don't care. Uh, they could have not put him in there, and I would have been fine with that. So if you have one of the coolest figures ever made, the Dark Trooper from Hot Toys put out before, you can pop his torso up the top, and you can put this battle damage torso on the top. That looks really cool. So you can have him standing on legs, but all battle damaged up. Oh, I love it. This is so cool. So here he is, all attached, lit up. Have this totally damaged up dark trooper, of course, with perfectly good legs, but <laughs> I love that light feature. Uh, it is so cool. I love how they made it so you could use both of these together. Ah, this is an awesome. I'm I'm really happy about this. One of my best side toy or sideshow, yeah, uh, hot toys purchases, I think, ever. Okay, when I first opened this up, I showed the backdrop and I was like, ah, I don't think I'm gonna really use it, but I thought it was cool. It had the multiple layers. Little did I know, there's more to it than I thought. So what happens is he's got these spots to put these other cardboard pieces down in there to have it st stand up. So you actually really bring it out. So you can see it like goes all the way in. Like there's more to it than just that. It really gives that full 3D motion. So you can have Luke actually coming through the doors and everything. I wasn't gonna set this up, and then I'm like, this is actually really cool. I think I should find a place for it because I do like it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use it with Luke or if I might put it with um, Moff Gideon. But this is a really cool backdrop. Kudos on this one, Hot Toys. You know, this was a more expensive deluxe Hot Toys. And other than Grogu, I think every other piece on this is totally worth it. I absolutely love the Battle Damage uh, Dark Trooper. The Luke is fantastic. This backdrop, all the light-up features and everything. This is an awesome set. I think this might be my favorite Star Wars toy of the year so far. So putting this all together, everything that comes with it. I love this set. This is a fantastic set. If you didn't order this, if you still can, I'd highly <laughs> recommend it. 
This is probably my second favorite Hot Toys of all time behind the Dark Trooper. The Dark Trooper is just too dang cool. But the lineup features and the battle damage, the way Luke looks, the backdrop, everything except for Grogu, Grogu I was excited about. And if I didn't already have a Grogu, I'd be like, oh, cool, Grogu. But since this is my third one, it's like, I really didn't need one. Uh, if I could have cough, you know, cut off like 20, 30, 40 bucks off the price just for that Grogu, I would have been happy. But oh, I, I think this is an awesome, awesome piece. Uh, I'm very happy with it. Uh, you know, there's been a couple hot toys this year I was a little disappointed with. I am not disappointed with this. This is one of my favorites.